Um, cool. Now, the people that are killing free and open source software have names, and their names may include uh, Drew DeVault. I mentioned this last stream, but there have been some developments, so I will now give you an update. Drew DeVault was the author responsible of the report trying to cancel Richard Stallman, alleging that, among other things, he was a pedophile. Uh, because he's a weird retard autist that has said weird things about age of consent. Because I think it's impossible for autistic people to not talk about the age of consent in a way that makes them uh, look really sussy baka. But Drew, of course, uh, is in no place to criticize because... Um, did I talk about Drew DeVault last stream? Yeah, John Deere is, is the worst. John Deere should be fucking Monopoly broken. I'm actually trying to remember. Okay, so John, I think I did talk about Drew DeVault. And I think I talked about, I did not talk about him at all? Really? Oh my god. What a disaster. Give me a sec. Boom. Okay. Well, thankfully I featured it. Okay, so. Uh, let me pull up the actual report then. It says I have a little bit more to talk about than I originally suspected because I have brain damage. Oh, the thing that I featured was the thing that I had up. I was just supposed to talk about it. Okay. Okay. So, the Free Software Foundation is one of the most prestigious old school nonprofit organizations in existence as far as nerds on the internet are concerned. The people that write the licenses, like the copyright or the copyleft license I just talked about, are the Free Software Foundation. They have a series of licenses that they've written and that they maintain. They do occasionally do little updates to to keep it current with law. And they also provide legal counsel. So if you provide if you use one of their copyleft licenses, and then Google steals your code, and you know that they stole your code, they will provide you a lawyer to sue Google for infringing your copyleft license. That's its benefit. Stallman is one of the uh, founders of the Free Software Foundation, and he is one of the uh, creators of the uh, GNU uh, core utils. So... Linux, this is very hard to explain. Please just give me a second. I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can and concisely as I can. Linux operating system is not just the Linux kernel. It is the Linux kernel and a series of um, core utilities provided by GNU, which is why very famously Stallman um, said that Linux should not be called Linux. It should be called GNU plus Linux. If you ever hear GNU plus Linux, it is people memeing about Richard Stallman. Um, because as I, as I said, it's not just the Linux kernel. It is also a bunch of programs provided by GNU for free that Linux is often bundled with. So Linux is not GNU. GNU is not Linux. And not every operating system that is Linux is bundled with GNU. There are some uh, operating systems which are very weird and not, not a lot of people use them that do not use GNU. And they're not, therefore not GNU plus Linux. Stallman is vicariously through this. Very important. His name is in a lot of GNU software. And as one of the chair members or former chair members of uh, the FSF, is also responsible for the ideology that backs open source software. Stallman is a very weird guy. There are videos of him eating fungus off his feet. He has made inappropriate comments to people. He is extremely bizarre. And if you write him an email, there's a 100% chance he will reply. So a lot of people on G write Stallman letters all the time for no reason. Um, so strange fucking guy is what I'm getting to. He's the kind of person that writes free software and has an ideological purity behind propagating the concept of free software. Drew DeVault is one of his arch nemesis for whatever fucking reason. Uh, Drew is involved in a lot of other projects, including, um, I think it's Hyperland. I forget the name of it. Um, but it's a it, it, it's an API between a desktop and the graphics card, and there's been an ongoing war between Drew DeVault's um, desktop thing 
and Steam. Steam's been trying to fix it, but they have like a tranny anarcho-communist way of adding changes to their software. So Valve has basically been Wayland. Sorry, yeah, Wayland. Uh, they um, have been forced. Valve has been forced because this is what they use in Steam Deck. Uh, which is GNU plus Linux, they have been forced to fork Wayland and make their own changes to bypass the anarcho-communist uh, uh, council, tribal folks council, so they can actually get fucking work done. Wayland then throws a fit and says that this is defeating the spirit of free and open source software, which is actually the complete opposite. But it's mostly them being butthurt that they don't get to make decisions anymore, and the big company is making changes that progress the software, without the trainees having any say in it. So Drew Duvall appears to be, by um, most assessments, to be a control freak working in an environment that is naturally not very uh, good at giving people total control over their products. That's called copyright law, and that's the opposite of free and open source software. So he hates Steam, he runs a, bi a bunch of big projects, he's a millstone around their fucking necks, and he also hates Richard Stallman for whatever reason, Probably literally just jealousy. He's that kind of a guy. So he wrote this big long report going wee 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 Stallman Dad. And then uh Kiwis and people from 4chan did some digging. It turns out that the IP addresses that were originally hosting this belong to Drew DeVault, which is extremely coincidental because Drew DeVault is somebody who has a known beef with Richard Stallman. This is not signed, by the way. This is an anonymous call-out post um, that made its rounds through open source software, trying to completely remove Stallman from anything related to the FSF, even though he is not a controlling member in any way now. He's basically grandfathered out and gets an honorary chair at the FSS, but this guy wants to completely discredit him from everything he's ever done over his entire life, and um, he didn't even put his fucking name on it because he's that much of a bitch. Then people found out the security certificate. Like, if I go up to this, oh, I can't show you this, but if you go to the, the lock button, you click it, you can click around, um, you can see who it was issued to. Now, big sites that publish stuff often bundle domains together if they belong to the same account. Well, guess what? Drew DeVault's portfolio site was also bundled on the same security certificate that issued that was issued for this site, basically guaranteeing that the account um, that created this also created his portfolio account, which means it's likely him. So people dug into it, and what they found is a very weird Reddit history of saying... Uh, of posting weird shit in Pokemon. Uh, I think he's a mod on Pokemon. Um, and uh, Well, okay, this was confirming that this is him. Uh, because it's like showing the accounts that he manages and then this. And then they show that he was posting uh, weird shit about Chunibyu. And lots of weird anime shit. And then... Uh, this this picture of Madoka from or Kaname from Madoka in her swimsuit. Uh, this is Kaname, and a lot of these are really old as well. They're like super old archives of stuff that he was doing like up to ten years ago. But the funny thing about that is, um, a lot of the shit he's giving Stallman issues with uh, was shit that Stallman said ten plus years ago. So it's all fair game. If he was gooning to to anime girls <laughs> 10 years ago, apparently that's all fair game when it comes to writing a huge hit piece expose about how someone should not get any credit for their work and should be completely excised from their own uh, foundations. So uh, there's more than that. Okay, hold up. There's weird. Oh, this. Oh, check out his, his band camp, by the way. Uh... There's something a little bit weird about his choices. I don't know if this is like a, a music genre where you just use watercolors of little girls for every single fucking cover. Um, but he seemed to have a specific interest in music that had watercolors of little girls as the album art. Uh, there was a IRC log posted that I'm going to try to find really quick. Where he was like making jokes about child pornography and how people should check the... The CP folder. Oh, this is what Stallman said about him. I didn't see this. 
I'm not sure what your opinion about this hacker is, but he's rather infamous of free software community for lasting for attention. Solomon replies and says, by the way, this is, uh, he's had this signature for like 20 years. It says, to any NSA and FBI agents reading my email, please consider whether defending the U.S. Constitution against all enemies, foreign or domestic, requires you to follow Snowden's example. He's had this as a as a footer for every single one of his emails for, for literally like two fucking decades at this point. I've never seen an email by him that does not have this um, moral evangelizing towards the, the federal government, which is pretty fucking basic, I gotta say. Um... The statement is, Drew DeVault pretends to be to advocate free software, but if you look at his views, um, as stated on rightsfreesoftware.org, it shows that he really advocates is open source. If someone doesn't understand the difference, suggest the, that per se read, and then his uh, thing. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Open source misses the point. There is a difference between free software and open source software. If so software is open source, but you can't do whatever you want with it, it's not free software. It's software that you get to look th at through a, a glass and maybe suggest changes to, but you don't own it and you can't do whatever you want with it. So you're really only linting or uh, renting it. So that, that's why people like Stallman is because he, he understands this. And the products of open source software are uh, numerable. You can see how, how much it helped um, the development of computers to have uh, communal projects like this. Um, so Drew DeVault, 2015, on this IRS or IRC account, I like Lolly. Should I watch Prisma Ilya? Yeah, it does. Gaussian looks smooth, but it's too blurry for me. Only if you like Lolly service. Not sure how I feel about Lolly service, but I love Fate. Okay, I like Lolly dance. Um, so this is him again, uh, allegedly. Uh, this channel has a substantial population of Lollycon anime fans. Uh, two images I'm not going to open. Uh, he shares a magnet link. Um, I have tons of H&R on AB because it's stupid about them. I don't know what that means. Oh, hit and runs on uh, anime. Some anime torrenting site. That's illegal, by the way. That's a crime. You're committing a felony. The FBI warned you not to copy these things. Uh, it's need a seed box. They're talking about... That this hey scene, that mouth animation, I reround this three times when I first saw it. The short scene had, with such good animation, it's all the detail, man. So he's watching an animation where a little kid goes hi, and he's like, mm, and rewinds it three times because the mouth details on it are just so good. That's fucking weird. Minus says, today I learned Lolly is illegal in all of Europe and probably punishable by up to 15 years in jail. Uh, Wiz says, rip Minus. And Sir uh, Compone says, let's start a country where we don't punish victimless crimes. Uh, again, a lot of this is him saying that uh, Stallman is a pedophile. And then he's on here like, mm, the lolly mouth. Mm, copy left software is bad. Uh, bunch of sketchy jars and shit being shared around more lollycon he says i like the anthropomorphization of snail house as a snail lolly i like the lolly i guess cute lolly high density goth lolly string instrument playing mo bob mo blob posting in hashtag stew tonight um and then there's a line oh he's posting pictures of himself oh just so we get um <laughs> absolute total confirmation i guess like you don't even need to say allegedly if that's drew Duvall, he's posting pictures of himself with his cat while talking about how much he loves lollicons uh near only a couple years before he writes his big ex expose calling stallman a pedophile this is a fucking awesome banger post. where's my sticker there we go where does he not get my sticker is my site being destroyed by truons Oh, there we go. Um, and then there was one more thing. There was more from the IRC logs, I want to say, because I've commented on it. Um, oh, they found his Dan Brew account. He uploaded, like, a bunch of shit. Um, 
if you want to go hunt that down and comment on it. But then the G Jannies, of course, stepped down and said, no, this isn't about technology. Sure, it may directly impact the fundamentals of the technology that we use on the G board, but this isn't discussing about the technology itself. There's nothing in this thread that pertains to technology. Take it somewhere else. The last few G posters directed by the Jannies themselves to take it somewhere else. I wonder where they'll go. This thread's attracted a lot of users, by the way, because of... Um, where the fuck is my post about... Oh, this one. Here we go. Uh, Janolo says, I lost my inner lolly. DM Omni Fishbot. Yes, when the screen is turned off, I see through the earth. Um... Geek, I like how you saw that coming. Runer says lol coming. And then Sir Component, I think responding to Janolo says, maybe in the CP folder. Uh, Runner 112 in the same chat says, man, my arm is going to be so sore after today. Um, and then I don't know what the fuck the 18 inches wide thing is. But my reply to this was funny. I, I said, um... Leave the ideologically pure foot fungus eating mongoloid alone, or we will find the IRC logs of you saying to check the CP folder. That sums up my thoughts on this. Like, Stallman isn't super active in anything anymore. It's so bizarre to, like, stomp your feet and cry about, about him still having a say in his own foundation. Get the fuck over it. And even if Stallman is a bad person, like, it doesn't change your motivation. Like, this guy's motivations why he's doing things, his duplicity, his two-facedness, um, his hypocrisy, is what I'm trying to say, or uh, or the or his cowardice. Like you're gonna you're gonna try to nail this to the fucking door of the FSF like you're Martin Luther with your ninety nine thesis. You're not even gonna have the balls to to put your name on it. Was the 99 Thesis a sign? Because if Martin Luther signed his name on something that could get him set on fire by the Catholic Church and this guy didn't sign this shit. Were the theses signed? No, the ninety-five theses. They were not signed. Oh, he did not sign. Them. Martin Luther also a bitch. <laughs> oh well, I guess we can put we can put this up there then. The ninety-five theses. The the um the common sense uh, by Thomas Paine. Uh, a humble, a modest proposal in Ireland. These things, all done anonymously, as as arguments for anonymity in the current age, uh, the Stallman report will sit up there with the greats. We must be able to 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 not to publish anonymous accusations. Okay. Um, oh, there's more even. So Drew's response to this, by the way, was to be a snarky cunt. And then on his fucking, um, Macedon account go, Drew DeVault exposed his band camp purchase history shows that he likes Ujiko and only pedophiles like Ujiko. You think I'm joking, but a kind moderator took down some harassment material and sent this over to me. The haters are really desperate. So the one thing that he responded to out of all of this was, um... Crunklord420 posting his Bandcamp profile and saying, look at all the weird Lollicon album art that he, that he consumes. Isn't that fucking weird? It's like, mm, this is all the haters got. Uh, but of course, the reality is probably a lot less calm in his neck of the woods because he's deleted everything. He's changed his Dan Brew account to an anonymous account, even though we have archives of that. He's deleted his own portfolio website. He's deleted everything. Everything that he could possibly find related to him has been taken off the internet in the weeks since this. But it's a little bit too late. A little too little, too late, my friend. Uh, you are a faggot. Cool. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.